Hey everyone. So three guesses what we're working on again today. So sorry about another uh, Xbox video. The original plan was to do part two of this video right here. This PlayStation 2. Unfortunately, the fuses that I ordered, well the ones that they sent, were not the ones that I ordered. This one right here, 3 amp 6 volts. This was supposed to be a 32 uh, volt pack of fuses. Really only need 12 volts, but couldn't find any of those. At least none that would uh, ship in short order. Either way, we've got this again. So this is actually a bit of a revisit. Thanks to uh, this comment right here. I think it was uh, Junkie Innie, I believe. I'm really sorry, but uh, YouTube did not want to display that comment because I think you had a direct link to uh, Vince's video. But the uh, video that I'm referring to, I'll put a link to it below. Basically, it's my mate Vince. He repaired something pretty much identical to this. And the stupid thing is, I saw that video and uh, forgot about it. But thanks a lot, uh, Junkie Any, I believe. Apologies if I got your name wrong. But uh, we're going to do the same thing. What Vince found out was that the power supply capacitors were actually, even though they looked okay, they were actually causing some issues. So we're going to do that. And uh, just to recap what's happening, let me show you. Xbox comes on and looks like it uh, boot loops a little bit. We've got nothing on the uh, screen as well. And then we get the flashing red light there. So let's see if we get lucky and if it's the same problem. And if we do, thanks a lot, Vince. And one thing to keep in mind, even if we do get this to actually boot up and show something on the screen, remember that we did put the uh, bad DVD drive back in here from another Xbox. We took the good one out and put one in that gives a DVD error 12 on the screen. So right now the, the uh, goal is to just get it to boot up and show something on the screen. If it does that, I'll put a proper drive in for testing purposes just to make sure. So here we have the power supply. And again, do not work with power supplies if you don't know what you're doing. These things can potentially kill you, especially like this uh, capacitor right here. That can carry a nasty shock even if the, the uh, console's been plugged out for a bit. Right here, I believe these are the capacitors that Vince replaced. So we'll do the uh, same thing. It looks like there's some epoxy or something holding them together. So that might be a little bit of an issue, but let's see what we can do. Okay, full disclosure, it's been about a week and a half since I recorded that last scene. I got a phone call right after from work, and uh, I won't go into the uh, details, but uh, last week and a half of my life has basically been wake up, work, go back to sleep. Fun times. But uh, it's still not over, but I've got a little bit of a respite right now. So let's see if we can get this thing working. I'm gonna plug out the power supply from this board, from the uh, main board router. And I'm gonna undo the uh, screws on the power board. Take it out and let's see what we have. And again, even though it's been like a week and a half or so since this thing's been turned on, I'm still gonna be very wary with this capacitor until I test it to see how much power is still in there. Okay. These are the terminals for the uh, big capacitor. Let's see what's in here. And looks like the capacitor is drained. Let's make certain. No sparks, that's good. So we've got a bit of epoxy in there. From what I understand, it's actually not really meant to keep the capacitors in place. It's more to stop uh, coil wine from this coil right here, that little uh, sort of high pitch humming. Hopefully, the capacitors will come out without much uh, issue, but we'll see. Also, in the last week and a half, there's been a second person that's uh, left a comment to tell me about Vince's video. Again, thank you for that. Can't believe I forgot about Vince's video. So, it looks like these three blue ones here are 2200 microfarads. The... Brown one, I 
can't really oh it's a thousand microfarad 16 volts uh the three blue ones are 10 volts let's get the uh, brown one off first then figure out how we're gonna get past this epoxy got some liquid flux here That's one, and now for these guys here. Okay, that one seemed to snap away no problem. Got to be very careful with these two here because I don't want to damage that coil. But let's get this one off. It's two. Just for the sake of experiment, I'm gonna see if I can cut through this. Looks like it might be possible. Got to be very careful the uh, knife doesn't slip. There we go. Okay, these two capacitors are now separated from that coil. Let's see if I can separate the two capacitors from each other. Make them a little easier to take out. Gonna shorten the knife so the uh, blade hopefully doesn't nick these cables right here. Okay, that's the two capacitors separated. Number three, number four, right. So I found a replacement uh, 1000 microfarad capacitor. The 2200 ones, I don't have any of these. So slight delay while I ordered these capacitors and I'll see you in just a little bit. The capacitors came in and here's the problem. This is what ended up uh, coming in and this is what it's supposed to replace. So those circles in there is where the capacitor is supposed to fit in. And uh, yeah, this is probably not going to work. Yeah, even if I get this one sitting in here like off the uh, board a bit, the other two are not going to fit just for giggles. Let's see if we can fit these things in somehow. By the way, if you ever think of doing this, uh, don't. This is extremely dumb. Probably won't kill you, but uh, you're going to get laughed at. So I could theoretically do this, provided the uh, legs aren't touching anything. And of course, I still got to get this last one here in. Okay, so this ridiculous configuration might work. We won't be able to close the uh, case, as you can see, because I believe the, uh, the DVD drive sits on top of here. And uh, yeah, this one's just protruding just a little bit. Just going to do a visual inspection, make sure these legs are not touching anything else. Just in case you're wondering why these capacitors are ridiculously big compared to uh, well the original ones here. This one's a 10 volt capacitor. These ones are apparently 50 volts. Doesn't matter if the voltage rating is a little bit higher. It just means it can go up to 50 volts. We're only going to be using apparently up to uh, 10. But... Uh, yeah, let's uh, tack these guys in with some solder and see if this works. Gonna put some liquid flux around where the uh, joints are gonna be. Okay, so these are tacked in just enough now so we can test it out. It's gonna trim the uh, excess off now. 
Okay, I'm going to put this back in and we'll give it a run, see if it uh, blows up. Okay, wall power is off right now. Turning on the wall power. Nothing blowing up so far. Let's power it up. And I think we still have the boot loop issue. Yeah. So there's the possibility that one of these caps here that I didn't change, one of the ones that didn't look bad, one of those might actually be, uh, well, bad. So let's try changing those out, see what helps. Thanks to you guys that suggested Vince's video. I know this was a really dumb way I put this in here, but it was worth trying just to see. So here's the deal. Turns out a lot of these capacitors here, I actually don't have in stock. Can't find them on Amazon for any kind of a decent price. And the uh, local stores here want something ridiculous, like two bucks a capacitor. So gonna have to order them from China. However, Chinese New Year just started. Uh, so yeah, gonna take a while before they uh, get here. So gonna have to call it this time and do a revisit. Um, so I guess I'm over two right now with this thing. Let's hope third time's a charm. I will of course be replacing these ones here as well too. Also, check out my uh, free books. I'll put a link down in the uh, description to them. The uh, sort of a fantasy series. Elevator pitch is the Belgariad meets uh, Stargate. If it sounds interesting to you, give it a shot. What do you have to lose other than uh, time, I guess? But uh, thanks for watching. Oh, by the way, this hard drive, this part right here, sits right behind this fan. So probably a good idea to clean these out every so often if you got one of these. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in round three of this.